Welcome to Motivational Money. We're continuing our series on turning uh, frustrated customers into excited, loyal, lifetime customers, right? And in the last video, we let you know that the most exciting thing about this is frustrated customers that are taken care of are more, more loyal than somebody who's never had a problem. And that's your charge. We want you to handle this upset of frustrated customers with excellence every time so that we can create an excited, loyal, lifetime customer. Now we started with the don't do, right? We started with the don't fire back and we went into the first step of do do, which is what? Actively listen. And we talked about the keys to actively listen. And we said that active listening is how we let them influence us. And if they feel heard, the more likely to listen to us, okay? Step one was active listening. Today's video, let's talk about step two, empathy. What is empathy? empathy? Empathy says, I heard you, I understand you, I know how you feel, and I would feel the same way. Does that make sense? Empathy is not sympathy. Empathy is not agreeing because they may be off base, but this is not the time to talk about that. Empathy is where we say, wow, I hear you. I'm so sorry that happened. That is frustrating. Again, I apologize, um, and, but, and then we move on. Empathy is letting them know, I'm sorry. I can see how that would be frustrating. I'm sorry that has happened to you. And it's the bridge that takes us to the solution. Now, I want a couple, a couple notes about this empathy. When we have an upset customer, especially if it's our fault, we make mistakes, don't we? How many tickets do you handle back in service? How many people do we work up in sales? We're not perfect. Excellence doesn't require perfection. There's going to be times that we screw up, and sometimes we screw up big, and we're going to make mistakes. A lot of times, these problems or complaints have nothing to do with us. In fact, in service, I feel that the majority of the uh, complaints have to do with the manufacturer or the vehicle, not really the service people or the service process. Anyway, so um, when we're taking a look at these complaints and, and this empathy, when we show empathy and we say we're sorry, sometimes we'll say our, we're sorry all the way through the process, and even that's the last thing they hear from us. I'm going to tell you today, empathy says, I hear you, I understand you, I know how frustrating it is, and I'm sorry, and then you'll leave your sorry there. We don't say sorry again. We go and we game plan on how to correct the situation. I'm sorry, and I hear you, and I feel you, and I understand you, takes place during the empathy step, and you leave it there. So what do we have so far? We have this frustrated customer that wants to vent, and we don't shoot and fire back at them, no matter what information we have at this time. We do the first thing, which is actively, actively listen, and then we turn around the complaint with an empathy statement and let them know, I heard you, I understand why you're frustrated, and I'm sorry. Good selling.